Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the, reg the population size and their growth and how to regulate the population size. Now, uh, for, for the understanding of population growth, what we need to know is that uh, the population growth is denoted with capital G and this capital G stands for R multiplied by capital N. Now here capital G is the growth rate, population growth rate here, capital G equals to small r multiplied by capital N. Now here capital N is the number of individuals in the population, okay. And small r is a very interesting factor here because r is denoted as intrinsic growth rate, intrinsic growth rate. Intrinsic growth rate means r uh, is the rate of uh, r is the rate where the individual is growing that means uh, say this r depends on two important things one is the birth and death birth rate and death rate okay these two things control the intrinsic growth rate but if birth rate is higher than death rate right if birth rate is higher than death rate that means people are burning more, less people are dying. So the population will grow. But if the birth rate is less than death rate, that means more people are dying, less people are born. So as a result, uh, the growth, intrinsic growth rate will be in a minus value, uh, right? It will be not minus in the zero, uh, less than zero. So in that case, uh, it will, it will be the population will not grow. It will, it will uh, slowly decline. The population growth will be less. So there are the thing depends on r so if r equals to 0 the intrinsic growth rate 0 means the death rate the birth rate equals to the death rate right that means the number of individuals uh, dying and the number of individuals uh, birth uh, they are both equals right so as a result it will be r equals 0 so the intrinsic rate will also be 0 and the population here will uh, will be in the constant growth rate right but if the value for r, if the value for r is more than 0, that means the population is growing. If it is less than 0, it is not growing, it is declining, okay. So this is the idea about the population size, uh, population growth. Now about the population size, population size also depends on the huge birth rate. If the birth rate is higher and the death rate is lower, so the population will also grow. That means the population size will also increase. It also depends on this number of individuals present there, that is capital N. So if the value for R is more, so the value for N here will also rise there, right? So individuals will grow there again. So now let's see what are the things that controls the population size. So see, there are two important things that regulates the population size. One is the density dependent factor, another one is the density independent factors. Now here density means the, uh, it depends on the individuals of the population. First thing is the density dependent factors. And if you take the example here as uh, the Drosophila, you see the development over the time, over the days and the number of uh, fruit flies that are present in the y axis. So you see it, they have a kind of S shaped curve and we know that is a sigmoidal or it is a logistic growth curve where we witness a exponential growth for day up to day 20 but after day 20 they receive a you know the their environment receives the carrying capacity, it reached the carrying capacity and then it, it kind of uh, stabilized uh, to a specific growth rate after that. So here why these things are happening, there are certain density dependent factors that means factors which are collaborated due to the presence of the number of uh, individuals and density dependent factor means in this case this type of factors and this type of growth depends on capital N or the number of individuals in a population. And if you see what are the factors, first is the competition, definitely density means competition that means more and more fruit flies, there will be competition between them. There are two types of competition possible, inter-specific and intra-specific. Intra-specific means between the same species, inter-specific means between two different species of Drosophila or fruit fly. Now second thing is predation. As there are competition, definitely there will be predation. Uh, some Drosophila will, uh, they want to leave, some will not. Maybe in other population, not in case of Drosophila, but in other populations, uh, in wild if you see, there will be predation between same species and different species. There will be parasitism, 
parasitism means uh, in some cases we all know about what parasitism means that one will get the benefit by harming others so that thing will also be present there and fourth is the diseases so there will be diseases out there right diseases means uh, as as that uh, huge amount of individuals are out there uh, there are contaminations uh, will be there and there will be poll pollutions and rising population will come with different side effects disease is one of those side effects where the disease will take place and it will kill some of the individuals and in human population disease will cause but due to our uh, highly advanced technology as well as the medical science approaches we are going against the disease as we are still I mean growing and growing in populations now the second type of factors that control the population growth and population size is the density independent factor density independent factor means this type of factors does not uh, depend on uh, the individuals and so the number of individuals uh, out there in a population that means if you take a population of 50 and if you take a population of 5000 uh, this type of factor will have the similar effect if you place those two things together in the same condition so if you take here example are abiotic factors that means uh, the temperature uh, i mean the climate everything under the climate temperature moisture content uh, air and availability of oxygen and everything then the catastrophic events uh, huge catastrophic events that will uh, i mean kill many people at the same time if you put them uh, the herd of 50 or 500 or 5000 it doesn't matter but in this catastrophic event also uh, there might be some survivor if you have more in population uh, size but in very less case it's not so it's slightly affected but if it's unpredictable most of the most of the individuals of population will die and it will not depend on uh, the number of individuals that are present in the population so that's uh, for today that's all about the population growth and how it is controlled by different factors and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button over there and also hit the like button. Share this video with your friends. Thank you.